Hello folks, it's Driver Films on the Driver Film Short with channel and I had a message on my Facebook page asking for help in programming one of these Bofang radios I think it was the TP which is the Tri-Power um, I don't have the Tri-Power, I've got just the normal GT3 Mark II um, we usually do these programming these radios as a program the um, Bearcat scanner, I showed you two ways doing it manually and using a program you can download off the internet. I'm not going to do that this time because programming it by hand is a pain in the bus. There was a video out there that I followed, a try looking in the manual, and as manuals for these radios aren't particularly brilliantly written, I thought I'd do it by uh, downloading the program. So that's what I'm going to do today. Hopefully, the screen recorder is going to behave itself and get enough detail and so uh, let's get to it okay so first thing you need to do is go to this website up here I'll link it down below where you download the chirp software it is free so if you want to donate to them you can do you don't have to so we've got it for Windows Mac OS and if you're a Linux user. It's a fairly small download and it's self-executable executable. so if you double click it it'll upload it. The second thing you need to do is is when you plug the uh, USB port program cable into your computer it may say it's looking for drivers. If it's found them it'll come up thus, so it's on COM port 5. If it doesn't however, because Windows 10 enjoy doing updates and when you update it it knocks it out and it looks looks like that. You need to find the drivers yourself. Um, so you can go for properties, driver, update driver, Raspberry computer. Now I've found um, Prolific drivers for Vista. I'll tr try and find that link and uh, link put it below. Alternatively, you can pick from entire list. So it's uh, click on there, click next. It'll install the driver, and there you go. And I'm going to switch it back to uh, Comp Five, and hopefully it should still be there. <laughs> yeah. That's one thing, if you unplug it or swap it over, it will just revert back to how it was. Swap and then you get Windows updating all the damn time. So you should be seeing this. Uh, my advice if you're going to program with Radio Regular is just to leave the programming cable in. Anyway, so let's uh, switch over to Chirp. Now I've already. Um, got all these programmed in but I'm just going to quickly show you how to um, upload from the radio if you've got anything on the radio so it's as simple of download from radio using the com port we plugged into which we saw on the um, screen here com5 select your radio or what it's similar to so both thing so my radio is not listed, but the GT3 WP is. But mine's still just the UV5 of anyway, so OK. You come up with this warning message, and it says, Due to the fact the manufacturer continues to release new versions of the firmware with obscure and hard to track changes, this driver may not work with your device. Thus far, and to the best knowledge of the author, no UV5R radios have been harmed using Chirp. However, proceed at your own risk. Now, it's entirely up to you if you continue. If not, you know, it, it, it's up to you, but I'm, the only way I'm going to show to promise the radio is doing it via Chirp. It's the easiest. So we click Proceed. Another box will come up with some instructions. So ensure the radio is switched off. Connect the program cable to it. Make sure it's firmly connected. Turn on the radio and it says volume may need to be set at 100. I generally don't. 
and also it says ensure that the video is tuned to a channel with no activity I've never had it transmitting on any channel so just for safety I'm going to put it on 166.66.666 I've had my uh, Bearcat scanner next to the radio whilst it's doing this and it's not transmitted anything but safety and sorry and click OK to download image from device and you get the clone in progress and the light on the radio will be green so it's not transmitting anyway so that's sorted out and that's what's always on my radio now this is just assuming that if, if you've got nothing on your radio then this would be blank anyway here is how you would input the repeaters so first of all you need to find out what the output is so in this case for the GB3 MR it's 433.350 press enter and that will fix it in, no, you don't need to put a load of zeros in so if it's a different um, let me just double click. If, if it's different to uh, output frequency, you'll put that in. So if it's 433.345, decimal three four five, it'll automatically fill in the the zero. So I'm just going to put that back to how it was. E five zero. Next one along, uh, naming it. If you've got alpha tagging on, put the name of the repeater on. Next part is the tone mode. Uh, tone DTCS cross tone TCQL. Uh, if you know you do it as a repeater, that will tell you what kind of tone it is. Tone frequency, we've got a drop down here, so it starts on 67, all the way down to 254.1. So you just use that drop down to select whichever tone the repeater works on. If you don't have the correct tone, it won't open the repeater. Uh, now you need to fill these in. Duplex mode. Uh, if it's a positive shift, go to that one. Positive shift or a negative shift. So this one is a positive. And you need the offset. So you're so basically you're just taking the off the output from the input whichever number you put in so in this case it's 1.6 uh, the mode of the transmission so FM or no FM I'll leave it on FM power high or low there are some more options if it's like the tri power one you've got low medium and high I always leave it on high and you can fill in the rest of all the repeaters that are local to you and these ones down here uh, I think these are default programmed in anyway but I don't use them let's just get rid of them now an alternative way of finding the repeaters is um, query the data source so you've got DMR, AMR, RC repeaters. That's if it's a DMR radio. Radioreference.com, you need um, an account. I've not got an account for them because I don't really need it. A repeater book. So you can do it by political query. So if you live in the state of Nevada, Lane County, and you're after the, um, so look at the 77s repeaters. Click on OK, it will search them. If you click on the repeater book here, you've got all the repeaters. So KD7, NHC, W7JA, etc. You can do it that way. Or if you do it this way, it's trying to find it. Proximity. Which I've never tried, which I've never looked at, so um, let's try Nevada again. 
yeah no channel sound you can do it by that way usually I find it best to go straight to the source or use um just dial it in on Google to be honest and that is input them on the chip software if you're doing that you need to upload it to your radio so same setup replies com5 you notice these two are greyed out because it knows which radio you're using from the last time click OK the usual uh, instructions turn the radio off connect the cable turn it on press OK get the usual warnings proceed at your own risk etc click yes and it will clone the radio and the green light on mine is flashing but it's not flashing red it's flashing green so it's not transmitting it's, in, it's also important that you don't remove the cable while it's programming got to keep that in that's completed the radio will switch itself on switch itself off then on again and the best way of making sure it's actually worked is to uh, go to your radio go to the repeater and uh, remove the programming cable and then press the push to talk button and if you access the repeater and as a GB3 IP repeater it will start it will tell me it's a repeater and start beeping at me it's worked and that is basically it really it's um, it's fairly simple to use, it did take me a few attempts originally, but once you get used to it, it's not a problem. So I hope this has been of some help to you. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to hit the like button. Also share it on social media, and if you're new to this channel, why not hit that subscribe button to be notified when the next video has been uploaded. And until then, thanks for watching, good DX, and 73s.